Hello everybody, TechSFPV here for this video where I want to present you uh, the pit flight uh, lap timer. So I will make a small uh, introduction. The system is uh, comprised of uh, two things, the hardware part and the mobile application. On the hardware module you will find a video receiver it's exactly the same thing as uh, the receiver that you have on your goggles on on your mask you will find the arduino nano that it's a microprocessor system uh, you put a firmware on it uh, so that it receives and interprets the uh, signals received from the uh, video receiver on the other side we will quickly will find some resistor and a buzzer system you can put a Wi-Fi module so that you can send uh, the different information from the hardware part to our application. You can have a Bluetooth module, it's exactly, exactly the same but in Bluetooth. And for those that prefer a, a more a conventional way, you have a, a Ethernet module that you can put on it. What's interesting is that you can uh, order uh, PCBs or uh, that you can use a, a breadcrumb-like um, board to uh, mount uh, this uh, module. For my part, I use a PCB that I order. I will put uh, the um, different links on the comment section. If you want to build yourself the uh, hardware part of the lap timer, uh, every uh, information is on the website. You can see the different elements uh, that you need for the assembly. Uh, you have the schematic. and the firmware that you have to upload to the Arduino Nano. I will put a link uh, in the comment section uh, to my website where you will find the details on how to uh, update and or upgrade uh, this uh, firmware. I use uh, a Wi-Fi module that I connect uh, via a little cable to the um, main PCB. For the alimentation of the system, uh, you can use uh, 8650 uh, batteries or uh, uh, simply a power bank that you uh, connect to the Arduino Nano USB port. What is really interesting is to assemble the system yourself. Uh, so the main hardware and the PCB you have you will spend uh, approximately 20 euros. To install the application, you simply go to the Google Play Store. Uh, in the search bar, you type uh, Pitfight Light Timer and you will have directly the application that you can install to your uh, mobile device. To have a look and see how the application uh, works, I use my uh, Lizard 95 to simulate the different race um, labs. So we go to the devices, we don't touch the RSC level, I change the frequency, I'm on C8 frequency, no change to the pilot name and we save the old data. We switch to the RSC tab. So we see that if the lizard make a lapse and he goes away, the uh, RSSI drops. So if I simulate a lap, we saw that the RSSI um, data goes up. Uh, we saw that the maximum uh, data is around 140, 150. So we go to the device tab, we change in accordance the RSSC uh, level, we we'll put uh, 150 and I save it. When I'm finished modifying the uh, different elements, I will start the race. The time is waiting. We have a look on the RSSI tab. So the lizard make a first pass. He activated 
at the uh, timing and we simulate one turn. The lizard comes another time. The value is higher than the RSSC minimum and the speech synthesis say me that okay I have a new lab and that it's validated. It's really easy so when I do some training I put the uh, mobile device on the loudspeaker and I hear every time. Sometimes the RSCC levels uh, evolves in time. It arrived to me once. It it was when the uh, hardware part was sitting in the sun, so I had to quickly uh, set a new RSCC level and it was uh, really quick. So if I go to my different tabs and I have a look at my um, lap times, uh, we saw them. And uh, for the race, I have all elements of my race, uh, my best time and my uh, total time. We see that the app is uh, really, really well uh, done. Uh, I appreciate really the RCC tab so that I can have a look and uh, see when uh, it's going to uh, activate the application or not. And this helped me to really uh, set the right value to configure everything. So if I made a little uh, synthesis of all that, uh, I really appreciate the app. I uh, use it uh, every time I make a training. The hardware system with the power bank, um, when there is a really perturbated uh, area, I made a small modifications on the Wi-Fi module. I put an external antenna with, uh, with a pigtail. I will make a video on that. Uh, apart from that, really nothing to say for uh, approximately 20 euros and uh, a small fee of going from 4 to 6 euro thing for the applications. It's a really huge improvement to the uh, time lapsing uh, hardware and it works really better than uh, some uh, concurrence that you can uh, buy at uh, some uh, stores for much much higher price. So feel free to leave me a comment, uh, I really will uh, answer to it. Uh, if you like the video a little thumbs up, maybe a subscribe, it will be really appreciated. Have a good flight guys.